Welcome back Legionnaires and we're here with another episode of the Abbasid Caliphate campaign for 1212 AD and in today's episode we are going to be taking uh, well I imagine the rest of the Quasmarine Empire down here um, I hope you guys enjoyed the last episode we did indeed take uh, Ray up here from also the Quasmarine Empire we're making some pretty good strides into their land and we're soon to be able to go west so the plan is probably to start recruiting a fourth army uh, when I actually have the infamy to be able to do so all well, and we're probably gonna put our son or one of our sons in charge I think it's actually our brother at this point if you look at yeah, I think he's a brother um, Bashar Ashaman or whatever his name. I can't actually I'm not even gonna try and say that and we also got this guy here Ghazi who's nearly of age So we've got plenty of people that we can choose to uh, basically come of age that will be able to uh, Lead our armies westward against the Zengids and then the Crusaders so, well, that is the plan to take out, certainly the Zengids next, then we'll probably s swing around, take out Antioch, and then come down and take Akka for ourselves. And that is the plan. We may also go to war with these guys up here in the north, and make these guys a vassal to just become a buffer. But I'm not really sure. It's not like, they're not the end of the world to take out. I may just leave them. I've had plenty of suggestions from people in the last episode on what to do. Um, I've taken some of them into mind, but I think we're doing okay as we are at the moment. We're... Building everything slowly up, we probably need something in here to just make Istafan a very happy place. I mean, what's currently the case here? Why does it hate us so much? Just religious differences and war weariness, which we're sorting out soon. Oh wow, yeah, war weariness at 13%, okay. We will uh, soon be wrapping up these wars, for sure. So we will end our turn, and we will... Uh, Finish the Siege of Yad's next turn by taking it. Then we will take Kerman and then move up towards Herat in the north. But I hope you guys are enjoying the uh, Let's Play and keep up your support. I appreciate all the likes and the subscribes if you're new around here. If you haven't subscribed already, I fully recommend that you do so you won't then and also remember to hit the bell so you don't miss out on any episodes of this let's play and any interesting battles that you may well any epic battles that you might find interesting put it like that not interesting battles that you might find epic I speak the Gurid Sultanate they want my my uh, daughter uh, no I'm gonna say no to this because someone suggested that marrying my uh, daughter here to one of the like noble women no i'm not taking your offers so the roost yes are very much around and about so yeah i'm gonna try and marry her off to if i can can i marry her off to one of my generals oh this guy's a general a yub can i marry him off oh he's already got a wife what a shame uh governor general here he has not got a wife don't think i can marry these guy these people off to oh i can influence cost arrange a marriage okay so I need her to get some ma uh, some influence somehow which I can't really do unfortunately it's not like that's that easy uh, she's now available to basically I don't know I can't get her to do anything she's getting get, gaining pet uh, influence though per turn so she actually will have enough and I can use her to uh, but she's not going to gain any influence. Oh no, she's gaining one per turn. But she's going to be a long way off. So I'm not going to... I'll use her, this person here, Humor, to marry off to maybe uh, Quetada or something like that. And we'll do something. We'll gain, a, gain some uh, support that way. Let's get you Amir, as an Amir. Let's have... Uh, and then that's kind of it. That's all I can really do. I'm So I am going to marry off... I'm going to marry... The Gurid, the Gurids can have this, uh, this daughter. Oh, that's too much. That's high though. Okay, so we're gonna have to go somewhere in the middle. Oh wow, that yeah, very much somewhere in the middle between those two. Okay, so we'll go five thousand five hundred. Okay, so you wouldn't do that much, but you do five thousand. That's perfectly fine with me. 5,300? Oh, they'll even take 5,300. Excellent. So there you go. She's married off to the Gurids. Hopefully that'll get some sort of alliance, uh, like secure the alliance here. We may actually be able to then 
make these guys a vassal. If I can get the money, I can probably just buy them into vassalage. And we can make them... Uh, they can just then defend the east for me. Which is what someone suggested, which is vassalize these guys. Which isn't the worst idea in the world. And anyway, 40 defenders here. I'll just wrap this one up nicely with a quick auto-resolve. Yeah, we lost a whole 33 men. Occupy. And there we go. Yads is ours now. I'm going to just put this guy here. Morale. And then you can have integrity. Excellent. There we go. And you can have integrity. And you can also have... Oh, you've got... Uh, you don't have a skill here. Okay, so you can have... We've not got any spears in this army. Um, charge bonus for cavalry recruits. I'm just going to give him... I've not got any spears yet. Just give him melee defense, I think. And I'm also going to just put this guy on... Hmm. Put this guy on Thinker. I think, because I want cunning. So it just brings down the upkeep of this army a little bit. Uh, this guy can carry on going down to Kerman. You can see what armies here. Okay, there's a big stack here. This is where that la final stack is I need to worry about. I could have that guy assassinated. It actually wouldn't be worth it currently. Um, this place is going to slowly stabilize, I think. And if it doesn't, I can send an army over there to make sure it does. This place has stabilized. Um, what's the food situation looking like? Okay, so if I put this in here, a Balik, this will again increase it, but I then can't afford to do that. So I think I'm going to just spend the money elsewhere. Uh, someone was saying to change this footwall house out. I mean, I could. Um, they were saying change it out for something else. I've forgotten what it was that they were saying now off the top of my head. But I'd probably change it out for a palace or something else. They were saying change it out for a trader. Which I'm definitely not going to do. Because that just puts in more public order problems. And that's not what we want. So anyway, this place over here is stabilized as well. I'm actually going up. So that's good. Basra is also looking really good. I'm going to sort, actually, I'm going to spend money on the sanitation here. And I'm also going to put a, another spice market in to just get this even more, like, more money coming in, basically. And that is probably all we're going to do. I mean, actually, we should really spend money on repairing everything in Yaz as well. What's this? Grand Palace? Um, yeah, we actually probably should do something about this. So, I'm going to take back, what was I building? Um, yeah, let's take out, out this again and let's just rebuild everything here. So we still have 3,000. We could probably build... Could build someone else. Um, I'm kind of okay at the moment. I guess I could build more infantry. I could, or I could just save the money. This guy could actually start going down and besieging the next place, but I don't really want to. I kind of want to full stack out one of these guys' armies. Um... What could you get? You, they take two tur uh, like a turn, two turns. Could get better in lancers. Um, they're not great. They're not awful. I'm gonna just hold off. I think. Just hold off. Um, like I said, we need to sort out this economy a little bit, and we could end the turn, but I can give some provincial governors to people. So I'm gonna make. I could make this guy a governor actually, um, because this Ghazi's coming of age. So yeah, we'll. Put this guy in as governor. He can be governor of Istafan. And um, I guess we give it an edict. Its edict can be... Uh, we could actually bring down the tax rate. Wherever it is here. Then public, public order. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll empower the public, the local ruler here. That'll sort that out nicely. And then we've also got to upgrade something, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, someone over here. Ibrahim, a governor. Um, he can have... I guess he can have plus three for his uh, public order there as well. That'll help. He can have tax rate up, and he can have authority. And there we go. So now Baz was probably loving it, it, loving life there. So we'll end the turn, and we'll see what we can do. I also need to obviously take this faction out down here in the south. Um, that shouldn't be too hard. Once the Quasmarine Empire's gone, we can probably just annex them as well at some point um, along the line. They don't seem to hate me too much just yet. But they're getting there.
I need to have a look and see how close I am to my next uh, ranking up in Imperium. Uh, defensive line, Zengids. Uh, it's it's not happening. I'm sorry. It's not happening. The Krasmarine Empire is sending armies and agents all over its empire. Oh, okay, they've got interesting stuff going on. Did we not have trade? Apparently not. Okay, well, I'll take that trade back. I didn't realize we didn't have trade, to be honest, but we'd take a thousand as well for it. Um, I would go to war with the Ayubid Pretenders, but no, I'm okay. A non-aggression, no, I'm okay. Because I'm definitely taking out you very soon, Nishapur. There we go, our trade has sorted out that problem. Um, I presume that that was the problem then. Offer secured, okay. Rank gain for him, Hassan. Okay, so this, where is she? This lady here can now marry to one of these people. I'm going to make it Quatada here. Because then he can marry to her and then can bring in more people into the family that way. Save adoption. Um, this guy here, we can marry off to someone as well. I'll get some sort of alliance going there. That'll be great. I'm going to spread religion. That's what we want to do. And I also like... What's, what else can we do here? Public order. Yes, let's have that. Go on. Make this place love us. Excellent. Right. Yads, what can we do here? We can build another mosque. Or we can put in a, uh, a Dagar or whatever this is. Sunni Islam is actually going up, but I'm, I'm probably going to just go with uh, public order. Small mosques all the way. We fight for you, my lord. He is actually outside the uh, his uh, his land there. What are these? These are medium melee infantry, and these are, these are pretty awful, I think. Maybe I could do a recruiting some horse archers. Look to the um, yeah, we'll recruit some pretty cheap horse archers with this army. Allah's chosen warriors, and uh, we'll just we'll see what we can do from there. Bane of Christendom can just stick around and do what it needs to do. Ready for the Swords of Islam. I, yeah, I need to actually see how much it's going to take till I can get a another. Uh, where is it? Summary. Here it is. Imperium. Okay, so we're quite a way off. I don't. I think we're nearly at. I th I'm not quite sure what we are currently. Actually, are we noteworthy? Who knows? Um, Imperium impressive. Okay, so we're actually impressive. So to get to... Uh, oh no. We must be no... I have no idea. Inspiring. Okay, this is all inspiring, intimidating. Okay. Alright, okay. So we've got a lot of stuff that we're going to need to do. <laughs> Put it like that. We've got a lot more work to do if we want to get more armies. Uh, I could have this guy assassinated. I don't really see the need right now. Um, I guess I just carry on pulling him down south so I can see if there's any other stuff. There's not anything else going down here. I've just realised that I don't think that the flipping Gurus actually have a army unless it's up here besieging this. But I have a feeling this is probably going to be the rebels. Um, but who knows? Who knows? Could I recruit a small unit here? Yes, I could. Let's recruit. Let's recruit some swords. There we go. We'll do that. Use up all our money. Make sure it's all gone. Oh, and also, the reason why Baghdad hates me is just because we've got a, re a raiding party going on, which I actually could probably go and deal with a Bazaar in like two turns time when this unit of swords has sorted itself out. But to be honest, I don't really care. I mean, Baghdad, yeah, my capital, it's slowly being, uh, well, converted to a happy place. But it'll, it'll get there in time. Yeah, another army. Well, it's a really small stack this time. Don't know what he's doing there, really. But uh, do with them. we'll deal with them in no time as well. Disease has spread to Baghdad. And there we go, so noble marriage. So, yeah, look, that's... Whoever was suggesting that was an idea, it just moves them over to here. So, Quatard is now still not part of the family, he's just... She's just there. So, it doesn't actually... It'll gain actually loyalty, yes, but, uh... 
I'd rather have them part of my family because then we have more control and more dominion and balance and power. So that's what I really would like. don't really want them to uh, be leaving my dynasty when they could be producing more heirs for me. More heirs and more spares. But Jamil is 63 years old. Jeez. Um, you can start doing stuff there, I guess. Not much else I can do. My lord, we fight for you, my lord. Yeah, this raiding, I bet this is all just down to... Actually, it's down to disease. Most of it is down to disease. Um, maybe we do want to sort out the squalor here. I don't know like how bad it is. I um, don't think it's awful. Didn't think it was awful anyway. Um, but we could always sort it out. Uh, I mean, it's, it's always going to be a pretty like filled area. I could possibly get rid of the small bazaar. But that's obviously going to make a massive hit on my economy. Um, I could get rid of the footwear house. Um, which actually is only giving us two two public order currently and I could swap it out for something that's going to give us more sanitation and just knock it down entirely yeah none of them will give me sanitation I'll have to go down the sanitation chain to actually do that which I could do I'm going to actually put in this uh, talking about sanitation I'm going to put in this hammam here and this will just help with the uh, sanitation here because clearly this is Bazar is not happy with sanitation oh yeah it's current current is not awful, but it's not great. And, uh, yeah, you've got one more turn till your horse archers are ready. And then I'm going to start the besieging of Kerman. I don't know what the garrison's like here. Pretty good, is the answer. Um, it is a gold. A gold mine. Oh, and Herat's raised its siege. Okay. That's slightly concerning, but not the end of the world as well. This place is now loving life. Um, that's great. And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> so the disease passed over to this army here. Well, that serves them right for raiding. So, yeah, one more turn and I can go and deal with those, that army, that small army there that was raiding. It's uh, no longer raiding, but it might actually die of pestilence, and that would be quite funny. Let's see if anything... I'm interested to see if the Crusaders have actually expanded anymore. Or if they've decreased in size, which is also quite possible. But the Ubids seem to be one of the most passive uh, empires that, or like factions I see in this game. They never expand. I in, say, saw it in the Jerusalem campaign. Um, I had a few little knockbacks from them in that campaign, but nothing major, nothing to stop them. Okay, and the Kratos Marine Empire wants peace. Okay, so it must have been... Oh yeah, it's the Mongols that were besieging these guys. Uh, no. No. Uh, they are clearly on the verge of defeat. And I'm probably going to have to deal with those Mongols very soon. Myself. Uh, to make sure that they don't do the same to me and start besieging stuff. Deep in my empire. Right. Noble birth. Excellent. Alright. And you got your, got your office secured. And to celebrate you had a son. Which you named Yusuf. Excellent. Right. Um, right, we're gonna... I could just adopt people into the family. It does damage control and stuff, apparently. Um, increase the loyalty, which increase the... That of your current adult sons, yeah. So I don't necessarily want to be doing that too often. Anyway, I'm gonna find a marriage uh, for my other son. Or, well, my current son. My only son. Military access... See, I could get more money out of you doing this as well. Thank you, Mecca, uh, for everything. But there we go. Right, so we'll do that. Um, can I marry you off to the Sultan? Yes. Oh my gosh, no. She's 50 years old. Sorry. I will not be taking that one. Trade? Oh, we don't have trade with you. We'll give you a fair answer why do we not have trade? Answer. This is probably why my economy's gone to, like down the drain. It's just non-existent apparently. Um, but there we go. So I'm sure my economy's now saved itself from I don't know hemorrhaging. My master extends the most magnificent welcome. Um, but anyway, so we've sorted out the uh, trade issues. I mean, we're now still not doing great on the old economy, but war weariness, I'm sure, is a uh, Still not helping with that. 
But we can uh, start the siege down here. So we're going to do just that. We've got some silver chevrons going on down here, I've just seen. Which is excellent to see. Uh, no, let's... Very well, then. It's, it's going to be ladders first, by the looks of it. See, I'm quite happy to take to take these armies on. Okay, so this army yeah, is made up of a lot of Nafatoons, lots of Javis. If we kill the cavalry quick, quite quickly, this army, again, is pretty easy to take out. Um, I'm going to just go and attack this guy here. Um, have him assassinated. Oh, wow, he actually missed. Okay. That's brilliant. Uh, so he missed. So we carry on like nothing happened. Uh, yeah, there you go. That Istafan is now going up, plus one. Uh, Baghdad is still going down currently. Doesn't help that this guy is raiding. I'm sure that's just... Yeah, minus six. So we can get this guy to start moving out, go and attack. I did not want him to go that way. Very well, go this way. Go through the pestilent lands of Baghdad. It's your own fault. What can you recruit here? Absolutely nothing. Um, yeah, absolutely nothing of interest. Um, which is not great, I won't lie. Oh, but you up you upgraded even though you failed. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure how that works. Guerrilla activity. Yep, yeah, that's against a foreign province and they extort. Could do that. Cunning. Agent costs. Public order. Yeah, we'll do that. So that's going to bring down the public order in this general area because they're all scared of him. But yep, yeah, that's fine. We can do that. Kerman is, uh, well, it's pretty happy, actually. It's a pretty nice, happy province. I don't know if it'll stay happy after I've taken it. It might do. It might not. Uh, obviously, this one's not happy because of religious differences. We are sorting them out, though. I'm not quite sure why religious differences are minus seven when there's other things that are definitely more of a concern. But anyway, we're sorting them out slowly and slowly but surely we are. Um, I could upgrade 6,000 hours. It's one or the other then. It's still one or the other. Over here, this is minus 6. This is still minus 4. Um, if we put that up, that's going to be... Okay, yeah, we can do that. I can put that one in, uh, Hamadan. Do need something over here to kind of keep this place happy. Why is this... The disease here is probably not helping either. Yeah, disease minus two. So we do need to put some sanitation stuff in elsewhere around the world as well. Oh, we've got disease over here as well. Not brilliant. Well, I'll sort that, sort them out as soon as possible. So we'll put some sanitation in, in both these regions. And they'll, they'll surely uh, sort themselves out in time. Excellent. Right. So, wrap up this turn... Oh, you got some skills first, of course. Um, let's just put authority in, and then you can have... You can have wealth. Have more wealth. There we go. Okay, end the turn. Ah, oh, need to refresh the vocal cords. A bit of war. The only disadvantage of talking to you guys all the time. I enjoy talking to you, entertaining you guys, but yes, it does uh, does kill your throat a little bit. Hopefully we can get a, maybe a, get a quick battle in this one. I don't know if we will, because... Um, well, I'm not sure. The Quasmarine Empire might sally out and attack me. Oh, the Ayubids look like the Mago for the Zengids. My lord, uh, the Zengids are only at war with Jerusalem and Silesia, so I don't think... The Ubids are going for war. And the Quasmarine Empire is just going to run away into Kufa. Okay. So I'm probably just going to put this army quickly into Baghdad to keep it stabilized for a little while. I think Basra is pretty fine. It um, looks pretty healthy now. I've sort of stabilized the issues there. Duty calls though. Um, so this is my heir. So I'm going to make him a king. And I think... That's got something to do with... Uh, oh no, Jafar is still alive, I think. Um, intervene. Intervene. I don't know who that was. No, yeah, Jafar's still alive. It's Jamil that's died. Oh, that's a shame. And Mushin's dead. Oh, I think he died a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, I think he did. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why we can't marry you off yet, Kudiar. But uh, Ghazi... 
Garza, we are still in the hunt for you to find a, a marriage. Uh, Mercuri is actually just tearing through the Ubid Sultanate. I might not even need to go to war with the Ubids. But I'm going to take that wife off you. Um, so there we go. Oh my gosh. I'm going to just rob these guys. Yep, there you go. 10,000. I just robbed them. Daylight robbery. Okay. So, this is pretty happy now. I know. Oh, they're getting plus five there for Basra as well. So they're also really happy. Um, I ha this place here, not so happy. Avaz, or whatever it's called. Um, I could put public order up. I was going to put it up two there. I can put it up two there. Or I can just put in... This is with sanitation. Which might be pretty happy. Uh, pretty helpful, sorry. But it's still religious differences. Which is a bit of a concern, apparently. Um, not quite sure why. But, um, okay. That's going to put minus two. So that's just going to... Yeah, I don't actually really want to touch much there. Could put a governor in there, possibly, but, um, yeah, I don't really need to do much in the way of stuff there. Um, yeah, I'm just going to carry on sieging this place down. How many turns until it starts starving? Seven turns. Uh, that could be a little while, so we might just be besieging there for quite a while. Um, that's not the end of the world. I'm going to try and assassinate this guy again. Just so this army can't come and sally out. There we go. Nari escaped. Just carry on leveling this guy up. It only costs a little bit. I'm not too fussed about doing that. Um, could put a mosque in here. I'm going to upgrade this one. This is going to bring down the food. This is going to put up food consumption. But what's the food currently like? Okay, it's not too bad. What's it currently? 30. So it's going to be 30 more. So we will have a little bit left over. So that's okay. There's nothing here that I can really... Ex spend on actually to like upgrade their uh, sanitation unfortunately Kufa here could probably get an expansion on sanitation if it, we get like I mean we are growing slowly Squalor here we could put this in uh, not Squalor I mean it's gonna upgrade my Squalor upgrade it's gonna make my Squalor worse sorry but um I am upgrading this sanitation place and then after that there is one more so we can deal with it just perfectly fine I'm going to put this guy into Kufa just to on the border. So he's got to either carry on going south. And I can definitely get to Basra quicker than he can get to Basra. So that is fine with me. So that guy's going to be just chased chase off to the uh, edge of eternity. Yeah, we Oh, we can actually build more armies. If I can get some money somewhere, we could build another army. Which I'm kind of down for doing. Um, and raising in Baghdad. Oh no, no, I'll raise it in Basra and then we'll send it towards Baghdad. So then get ready to take out these Zengids. Um, it's the Gurid Sultan. Have they got anything? Do not try my patience oh, we could trade with... Tongue. We could trade with them. I didn't want that, but... My friend, no, there's nothing here I can do. This place with your... I was just hoping I could maybe make an alliance... Uh, make you a vassal. The pleasures of my household Military alliance. There we go. First, though... Oh, that's a bit high. Yeah, okay, that much. That's a little bit too much for you, okay. Um, 2,000 I would like out of you. Then I could spend that on generals and armies. There we go. So, Basra. Build me an army. Uh, we've got riders and a taskmaster. I'd rather have the taskmaster. Um, I'm not too fussed about that. I'm going to... Ooh, I could make him a ghoul and foot guard. Well, not ghoul and foot guard. Ghoul and bodyguard. That's very expensive, though. I'm going to just go with the Spears. The Spears seem pretty good. Um, Scourge of Christianity. That's a pretty good name. If anyone's got a name that they'd like me to throw in there instead, please do let me know. I'm going to just put in some uh, Footwar Jund, I think, for now. And, um... Okay, now that's all I can do. So I'm not going to put any more in. And there we go. So we're recruiting another army. A fourth army. Excellent. I will recruit a fifth army and I will probably put it up here to probably garrison like the northern regions of Persia. We'll probably have one in like the southern areas as well because well, we'll need one to keep an eye on these guys down here. And when uh, we eventually vassalize the Gurids, I'll obviously give them land as well. Okay, we can have another provincial governor. Um, I'm probably going to make Avaz my governor. Oh, it's going to have to be this guy here, Murad. There we go. Murad, you do your thing. 
Um, and then Avaz, I'm just going to make growth and wealth and stuff like that. So that is what we're going to do. And that's where we're going to wrap up today's episode, I think, guys. Um, I was going to end the turn, but I'm just going to wrap it up there because we have come to the half hour mark. So I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please do leave a like and subscribe if you're new around here. And leave a comment if you've got any advice or just any uh, anything that you want me to try and do. I have had a few these uh, last few episodes with lots of advice. And I've taken a bit on. Um, I'm carrying on doing what I've been doing anyway. We are going to take Kerman in a, a few turns time. Whether that's through siege or through uh, starvation. Like a, well, a battle or starvation I should say. And then we can start to go north and deal with these two. And then we can just clear up the rest of them up here. I think they've got a couple more regions but... We can start going westward soon. When we've taken out uh, Kerman, we don't need as many armies dedicated to taking out uh, the Quasmarine Empire, really. Probably just the one big stack will do, and we just move from city to city. But anyway, guys, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed, and until next time, Legionnaires, bye for now.